Roll call, please. Okay, roll call. Ken Smith is excused. Um, Andy Wilson. Present. Mark Finson. Present. Joe Shine. Present. Kevin Flynn. Present. Justin Olson. Present. Okay, Justin. Oh, Mark, would you say a prayer for us this evening? Our Father in heaven, Lord, we do thank you for this day, and we thank you for the blessings of it, and we thank you for your kindness and mercy over us. And we thank you for this privilege that we have tonight to convene as the city council and our citizens to conduct business. We pray that you grant us wisdom, that we might do that which is best and good for all concerned, and also that we be good in your sight. And Lord, we're mindful of others that are serving our country, young men and women in uniform tonight in foreign places. We pray for them, we pray for their families, we pray that you watch over and protect them and bring them home safely. We pray for our leaders. We pray that you grant them uh, the wisdom and grace to do what's right and what's good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Andy, you want to do the Pledge of Allegiance voice? <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I get to give a mayor's report. The only thing I'm going to say is that uh, we had the uh, meeting of those running for office on Tuesday night. I'm sorry there weren't more people there, but those were there. I think they got more than what they asked for. It was a good meeting. I think the men did, everybody did a good job. Okay, agenda approval. Need a motion for that? I'll make a motion to, uh, to approve tonight's agenda, uh, City Council meeting agenda for 7-23-2015. Okay, we have, as a, written. we have a motion from Justin Olson to approve the agenda as written. Do we have a second? A second. Second by Mark Benison. Okay, we'll have a vote on it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Minutes. We need a motion on the minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for July 9th, 2015. A motion from Joe Shy to approve the minutes for July 19th, 2015. Do we have a second on that? I second. Andy Wilson seconds that. We have a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Voucher approval. Can I make a motion? We approve the end of July 2015 total, the amount of $11,310.48. July 2015 total, $39,523.13. Uh, so you approved the first half of July 2015 also? I'm sorry. Okay. We have a motion to approve the uh, vouchers as written. Do we have a second on that? I'll second that. Second by Joe Shy. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. Public comments. We have Liz Hicker. My name is Elizabeth Hicker. I live on Brentwick Road in Vader, Washington. I come before the council this evening to talk about vandalism within the city limits. Um, Hallie Sword called me a couple of days back and she said, Liz, have you seen the kiosk that is over by the jail because someone has been defacing it? And um, I did not take the time to stop by and look at it. However, I take her word for it. And I was wondering if anyone had approached the council before in regards to that and seeing if something could be done. Um, and there's a couple of things and that's probably putting plexiglass or some type of material that you can see through that would protect it. Uh, I don't think there is anything over it right now. Um, it that has been mentioned before. Pardon? Somebody has mentioned that before, really? co about covering those. We received a public um, complaint about that this last week. 
And it's my understanding there is plus plexiglass. It is the plexiglass itself that is being defaced. Okay, so it needs to be replaced. Yes. Is the church no longer keeping up a camera? The cameras are on every almost every night. And and thus far, no one has made any comment, especially from the church, that there has been any vandalism against it. What has to happen on that? Would somebody would have to ask the church if they have it on a certain give us a time, then they can go back and look it up. That's how that works. Okay. Because they're not somebody isn't monitoring it all the time. It's mm -hmm. just it's run on the clock, and uh, it depends, you know, when it was. I would also ask the council, and I know my time is going. Um, I would also ask the council what is if anything is being done about the youngsters in town, and when I say youngsters, I mean teenagers, older, younger, mid to older teenagers, as far as something for them to do um, so that they have, they won't feel like they need to just simply vandalize. I, I have no idea. I know I don't live within the city limits, but I hear from other people, and um, my address is Vader, and I do care. And I don't know what the answer is, and I have no real suggestions because I'm not a teenager anymore, nor do I live in the city. Yes? I uh, <coughs> caught a girl here not too long ago in the afternoon, but I was able to see what she did. She was up with her car on the basketball court, with her car on the basketball court. Oh, boy. Well, that old Andy Wilson got in his pickup and he chased her around town and down Annan Road and down the Winlock Vader Road to three corners and she stopped because she knew I would ride on her. What are you chasing me for? I said, you know what I'm chasing you for. But the police officer, it wasn't you, I don't think, there was one of our police officers happened to be in there, and I called 911. Of course, my hearing, I couldn't hear very good. And uh, all I could do was tell the dispatcher that I was chasing this person. Well, she ended up over here, on, uh, right down here in this nice place on the corner where the log truck is. Yep. And uh, he nailed her. And I heard it cost her 50 Five hundred and some odd dollars. She must not have had a driver's license. She must not have had insurance. But anyway, I caught her, <coughs> and I was going to tell the other the officer again. I was going to tell that ever who it is. Now she's racing up and down five oh six because she knows when they aren't here. Oh, Andy Wilson's going to catch her again. Okay. Well. Um, please, council members, think about things that can be done for the future, for the future of Vader or Little Falls Vader. Um, something has to be done. Um, these children are our responsibility. It's your responsibility and mine as adults. And I really care about them and their future. Um, and I, I don't know what to do, but I do bring that perplexity to you. And in hopeful, you will discuss it amongst you and discuss it with other people within the community and try to resolve or find a solution to that. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, how long does the cameras at the church last? The time limit? 25 days. Oh, 25 days? Yeah, I think it's 25 See, days. See, Judy Costello, if we knew these things, if we knew when the vandalism won, if somebody would report it right now, we, maybe we could catch some of the eating some that's how we got the last ones. We yeah. the vandals that happened, we knew exactly when it was, and we got to watch a nice action packed movie, yeah. <laughs> right? Yes, sir. It was it was a circus, yeah. <laughs> and they, they we didn't see them, so they stepped right up to the camera and smiled and waved in the camera, <laughs> and we got so, all of them. <laughs> so, Liz, if you might notify uh, these different people and tell them that they got to notify us real quick. <clears throat> To get Judy Costello and the church's cameras because Judy Costello, believe it or not, her camera goes clear to the church. Yeah, she is one, and we have four. I think we have three of them, yeah. three or four of them. So if we're told soon enough, we can go back and narrow that time span down and then play it back and you can sit and watch it. See if we have it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, anybody else? Steve, you're next.
Well, I'm Steve Crone, Chairman of the Park Board. Uh, a few things here. At our last meeting, we got uh, Lou Ebrack, who's a member of the Park Board now. So we're up to one more. And uh, in the last few weeks, we installed a, one of the grills at the Worden Park up here by the pavilion. And uh, did you talk to him about the signs up there? Okay. And the price? No. Okay. Well, we got a price. <coughs> Home Depot came up with a price on those. They're four by eight sheets, but we need a 42 by six foot plexiglass there. And Home Depot had the best price. They were $198 and some odd cents a piece. So we need three of those if we're going to secure all three of those. And then we go down to uh, McMurphy Park. Uh, there used to be a no camping sign up front by the gate, which is not there anymore. We had some people that camped over, was it last Monday, or I think it was, <coughs> they were from Chehalis, and they spent the night, and I went down it, and I just drove through the park at about 10 <coughs> o'clock, and they were packing up to leave, and I told them that there's an old camping sign, and there is if you go to, to the right spot in the park and can find it, so. Maybe we could go ahead and need a new no get camping sign. New camping signs. So it's not missing. You just want another one. Well, it was one out there that's missing. Oh, okay. but there's one at the. Uh, that was probably the camper wanted to stay. He took the sign down, and then there's, there's well, no sign well, down. Well, no camp. sign, yeah. <laughs> and it worked. How could I disprove him? It wasn't there. Right. Um, and also, uh, we've been looking in the garbage cans. I've come up with some 55 gallon drums we get for the park be donated to us. And uh, I would like to get two sheets of three-quarter inch plywood because uh, we can get, uh, I can get eight of them per sheet and I've got eight or a little bit better of those cans now. So if we could splurge and get the plywood to the lids and the, some hinges for each one of those, we could put, put a damper on those kids wrecking the the aluminum ones that we got, or the garbage cans. And to be sure they're not gonna be stolen, we decided we'd just go ahead and try and put some concrete, a couple of bags of concrete in the bottom, so they're not gonna just up and lift them and take them away. Do you still have money in the park board budget for stuff? Yes. I, I didn't have a sheet from our last meeting here, but we do have money. <clears throat> Well, that comes under the parameters we discussed a few months ago. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you know, if it's within the budget, run it by the council, or the council agrees, get it done. So. Uh, well, there's a voucher, there's a pr process that has to follow before that can happen, purchase order and all that kind of stuff. Right, so. right. <coughs> but he can, he can move ahead with it and get it done. Council yeah. has given him. I can get some price, the actual prices on the right. hinges. I didn't right. get the price on the hinges, but. The plywood and stuff. And right. Well, I yeah. would say get those numbers together. But then, just to clarify, the purchase can't be made until the purchase order is Correct. Made. I understand okay. that. Okay. But at least get the numbers together so we know what we're talking about, dollars and cents, and then let's get it yeah. done. For that, as well as the re vandalism repair, as well, the plexiglass? I would say yes, because if we don't yeah. repair those things, they're going to be destroyed. Oh, no, they're things. bad now. I'm going to... Uh, Hallie's been down there putting... Uh, white out on trying to help them and I thought I might talk to Reggie and Linda Smith because she does a lot of painting and stuff and maybe she could touch them up with some real paint. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. um, uh, can I say a word? Sure. Quick. Okay. I'm not quick. <laughs> okay. Um, just going over them, though, is not going to take, it's going to deface them even more. To replace them is the only thing that's going to give them good validity mm -hmm. as far as uptown look. Uh, we have a lot of people, according to Hallie, that come in, and I believe in the office too, wanting to know about the city and its history. And I think it really, and, and they use bathroom, I mean, there's no other public bathroom around here. So I think it would really be good, and that really, truly doesn't sound like very much, and I would be willing to go halfsies on putting that plexiglass up. Um, 
so that it, it's a nice job. Yeah. Done. That's all. Uh, okay. When you're saying that, you mean the VCL? The, no, oh, oh, personally. personally. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you have, we have you guys the council approval then to put the order together for those yeah. items. Yeah. What do you say? We, everybody in favor say aye. 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 There, put it together and see what we come uh, up with. Another thing, I don't know what they did, but in the restrooms up here at Wharton Park, they've stained the stainless steel. They put some kind of chemical or something on it. I don't know what it is they've done to it. It looks like rust on there. And I got with John, and he hasn't cleaned them yet, but we're take a look and see if we can steel wool or something might take that stuff off. I don't know. Well, you put carbon on stainless steel, and stainless steel will rust. So if you take a pencil and write on stainless steel, yeah. it'll rust. Hmm. Yeah, but this is not right. It's just like they covered it with spray paint or something. just all over it. Wow. Steel wool. Huh? Steel, steel wool. I'm yeah. thinking, yeah, that's, I haven't tried it myself yet, but we talked about doing that. And then uh, we've talked amongst ourselves about on National Day of Service here. We get a crew down here at the, behind the school and get that backstop removed. We've been, we've talked about that for several years and just never got a party together, but if we could get some of them to help us. That should be uh, put it. on the list of projects around yeah. town, right? Because I thought they were still looking for things to do. Right, there are compiling a list of projects. So that that would be a good, come, that'd be a good thing to put on and get it done. Yeah, because we get a few people and then I could talk to Kelly and I'm sure he would Donate his time in the excavator to to pick it up to lower it down for us. We just I think all we have to do is just take a sawzall and cut them off at the ground and then put a splint on them. Isn't that isn't that property part of the Scott Castle Rock School District now? Don't they? Yeah, but yeah, they, they said we could have they them. Gave, they gave us all that equipment. Okay, so we can the still backstop and the, okay and the dugouts and all that stuff. I think our big concern is if we can just get the backstop first and then we can come in here and uh, run that line that's probably about, I don't know, 200 feet or so on each side of the, in front of the dugouts there, the six foot fence plus the dugouts. So. And uh, is there any update as far as power at? McMurphy Park, how that's good is going. I can't answer that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I just yeah, my, truthfully, I thought you were running that. Well, I was, but then Jill said something about that the city was going to to look into it or something, mm -hmm. and I haven't heard anything more. So I don't know anything about that. We'll wait for the mayor to get back and or Jill. And yep, they can do that. Okay, well that's it for me. All right, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, that takes us down to city business. All right, there's an item here for imitation to bid on the side sewers. It's really, uh, this is an item only for, for discussion only. Do we have everybody uh, that has that qualifies for this have they signed up for it do you know Diane I don't think everybody that qualifies has signed up the last count I think they had was 15 homes 15 homes but um, I think they were there's a lot more available than that is there any way can we still get the other people on that if we were to call them up I don't know Jill would have to answer that I'm okay. not sure about that um, the engineer called today and he just wanted to make sure that you guys um, saw this so you have the basic information. I also included for you, um, it's actually a request for determination, but on it, it shows you the dates that we're looking at, um, advertising for bid begins August 10th, and then the estimated bid opening, all that, just so you know the time frame we're looking at. So if there's anybody else who's going to do it, there isn't a lot of time to get it done, yeah. to get them on there, is there? Right. So if anybody here knows of anybody that qualifies for that side sewer, uh, put their name in and yeah. see if we can get them approved. Right. Again, I don't know if they can get in, but 
we could always ask. Yeah, it's free. You know, it's not going to cost them anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else on that? That's all that I know about on that one. Okay, uh, item number two, council to consider proposed employee sa salary schedule. There's a lot of information here on that, but uh, I checked and it's not complete. And the mayor has information on that, and so does Jill, and neither one of them are here. The portion is incomplete? Uh, the amounts. Uh, get to find a, there's one item I saw on there. There you go. Job classification, classification and salary steps. <laughs> Going through the amount of monies. And uh, there was a disagreement on the amount of monies for that one. And uh, I said we'd have to leave that open for discussion. Can I and, a, uh, can, 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 me? can I say something? Sure. Would it be a good idea to table that until Jill and the mayor are here for those details? or? Uh, I would rather do that because the, uh, the, the full explanation of the salaries is not complete. And it, Jill's is, is, the, is the primary one. So, Justin, and you're making a motion to table that? Yes. Oh. Can, I make, um, can I make a motion to a table that until the mayor and Jill? Well, I think it's important to hear Jill's feedback since it can pertains to her. Well, I don't understand. Oh, for the no. table, I don't understand what, what the issue is. Can you explain it to me? The amount of money. Uh, this is showing the amount of money as $47,703. Right. The current rate is $38,000. That's a median increase in $9,000. Right. Okay, so it's so it's an issue with not with this, with the the process is the whole process is an agreement. It's the amount of money with the, that big okay. jump right away. All right, I see. I see. And <clears throat> I called the mayor when I saw that. And I said, I, I'm not comfortable with that because he said to me, his response was, that's over X amount of years, five years or 10 years. I said, that's not what the report says. The, oh. reports, the report says right away. So, okay. so, so I, I know what you're saying. Okay. And I had this, I, I was confused on that at first as well, but I figured out why that's different. If you look, this, this is the estimated, this chart, is the way the salaries will be in 2020, not. But that's not, not what. The, but that's not what it says. Right. So, you see this one here. If you look at this chart here, look at the the 2020 rates. Mm -hmm. These are these rates. So this is here's the, going forward from this year. But the when you take this whole chart and you go, uh, this position is 2020. There's some of them on this that are rated 2020, which should be right now. And uh, that would be, uh, there's two of them, just a minute. One of them is Diane needs an increase because hers is way below normal. Sure. And so that fits into this category. This one is in this category, but hers should come sooner this one should be based according to this chart. So because of the variances, and the other one was our public works uh, worker. Uh, <clears throat> I do not want to, I don't know how anybody else feels, but I don't want to lose our public works worker. Of course not. Because I feel he's doing a great job, and he should be moved up sooner. And then the other one that is, uh, we don't feel should go up according to this chart right away is the worker down at the sewer department. He's he, not. He's not going to. Uh, he's still a city employee and right, would right. be considered a city employee. And he even says right here <clears throat> that um, the wastewater treatment operator has 0.92 years and the current position is paid slightly less than step six. It is proposed that the wastewater operator's wage will remain frozen at the current pay rate until his longevity catches up with the pay scale in 2018. So his pay will not increase at all until 2018. Okay, well that answers one question, right. but it's still the other one. So, so, that's, so that answers that okay. question. Um, and you can see here that 
that uh, this is the city clerk would be increased to this immediately the deputy clerk would be increased to this immediately and then our public works employee would be increased to this immediately yeah, I mean, for the for the rest of for the rest the of public this year. works employee we want to move up further okay then that that's that's why and then and then Diane here and for I'm talking about right away right and, I, and uh, this puts it 32 here and she's already at 38. 32 and 38. See, this is current. Right. And if you go step one, it would move her back to 32. No, no, they, she's not going to go back to step one. No, she's been here five years. Right, which is why this would go, would... Yeah. The, step five, because it even says deputy city clerk, based on years in service, would go to step six. <clears throat> deputy clerk, based on years of service, would go to step five. Right away, so they are getting okay. they are getting the big increases that you're talking about right. already. Well, I just uh, I, I went over with the mayor and he asked if I would table it, and I said because of those questions, I would. I understand what you're saying. Nobody is against this. We're all for it. I just am I'm, I'm being careful because I don't want to. We can't do it right away. It should be put in the next year's budget instead of the current budget. We can't do it right away. They're, the money's already been found to do it right away. Yep, don't want to do it right away. All right, well, we can table it until next... I know, next I'm the bad guy here, but I... No, I just don't understand, I just don't understand the issue. It's, I, it's, I like it's, your... It seems Jill's really clear to me. Because I know Jill has a lot of um, intimate details behind it and how, how uh, where she falls out in the numbers, too. Um, and man, it's just a, it's a huge, huge uh, topic subject right now. Without her and the mayor, I think okay. I think it'd be great. But I, I appreciate okay. your homework on it. Yeah, well, I've nobody's against it. I've, yeah. I, I feel that. like I understand this I know completely. You I know you do because you you did a lot of work on it. Yeah, I know you did. Sure did. So if you have questions, you can ask me too because I can ask me too. Yeah. But if you guys want to say, but if no one, if we're not comfortable with it, that's that's. That's fine. We should wait until everyone's comfortable. Definitely. I want to talk to you about it afterwards. Okay. All right. Absolutely. So we got to be comfortable. We have a motion. We don't have a second. Okay. We have a motion from Justin to table it to the next meeting. Do we have a second on that? I second that. Second from Manny. Any discussion? Any more discussion? I would like to talk to you afterwards. Huh? Sure. Okay. All those in favor of table the next meeting, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Motion carries. Thank you. Report on street grants. That's All right, you, Joe. that's me. That's more me. Yep. Um, so um, the grant. So this is through the Transportation Improvement Board. We've talked about this in the past. Um, we went on tour with the, enge the city engineer and the state representative engineer front came down as well. Um, I told you about that as well. Um, <clears throat> since then, our city engineer, uh, the Morissette Engineering Firm, he has been working on putting this grant application uh, together for us. Um, and from where I gave you guys printouts a while back of the different areas. Right. So it's the A Street stretch from in front of the post office all the way down to 5th Street past the park. And then um, that's one application. And then the other application is this side of town um, in front of the street from 8th to 9th in front of the, or excuse me, from D to B to Art Road. One was up yeah. on 10th Street. Ninth. One was up anyway, on 10th. Anyway, in front of the fire station. Yeah, okay. And then turning and going up the hill towards D. Um, and that's the other section. Um, so the two grant applications, one is about 400000 The other one is $450,000. Um, it's <clears throat> the city engineer. Um, part of the program is to put um, a certain person. The city can put a certain percentage of that towards the grant. And then um, in the point process, we'll get more points. 
So the more money that we can put towards the grant, um, better chances are we, we have it. Now obviously, 5% of a total of $850,000 is $42,000. Um, and there's just no way that we could comfortably put that much money towards it. But um, a 3% um, a three percent match would be twenty five thousand five hundred, and Isn't the way what we have in the street <coughs> funds for this year. Yep, and the way that, so what we could do is we could say that we're willing to put in three percent, which would be our budget for next year. We can um, this grant application has to be in in August. We will be notified in November of this year whether or not it was approved or not. If it was approved, we'd have to make sure that we had twenty-five thousand five hundred in our street budget for the following year. So we would have, we would be notified. We would be notified in November. Yep, before our budget oh, process our budget. is over. Okay, good. Yep. That's, that's so we could put in, we could say our entire street budget, give or take, will go towards um, the, getting eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of work done the following summer. If we wanted, if we wanted to that do that, pretty good. and if we don't get the grant in November, we'll have notif we'll no be notified, and we'll know that we don't have to put that in there. Yeah, we'll just have to put enough money in there for streets so, for next year. Well, I'd, I'd like to make sure we put at least that much anymore in there right. anyway for right. next year. Um, right. I have a lot of projects I'd like to get done, um, but anyway, that's a topic for another time. But um, that twenty five thousand five hundred number that was that's only slightly more than what was in our budget for this year anyway. Mm -hmm. So. You know, going forward to next year, we could definitely put that much in there, right. so it would be a problem. So what we need tonight is, if you guys are comfortable with that, um, saying that our street budget would, for next year, could go towards this grant, um, I could tell our engineer that, and he could make sure it was in the grant application that we could put three percent towards towards that. It's a good deal. It's a you want to put that. Uh, it's a small amount of money. A, we need a motion on that. You want to put that forward as a motion? I will put that forward as a motion. Okay. So um, I make a motion that um, we put in a 3% match of 25500 towards the TIB grant fund, grant application, um, uh, and we that will be due at the end of August, and we'll find out by November um, if we need to actually use that money next year or not. Is that a good motion? Okay, we have a motion on the table from Joe Shy, and we take our street funds for next year of $25,200. $500. And use that as matching funds for the grant, or 3% matching funds for the grant funds, so we can, hopefully that would give us $800,000 of the street fund money for next year. I would second We have a that. second on that? Second, second by Andy Wilson. Motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 All, All right. those opposed? Motion carries. Super. Thanks, guys. So, yeah, I will let uh, our engineer know that, and yet we will continue on with that application. Um, we should have a final draft for you guys to look at, well, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Item number four. Thanks, Joe. Item number four. Council to consider public hearing comments regarding Ordinance 2015-05, Temporary Ban on Marijuana-Related Activities. I guess the question asked would be, based on the public uh, uh, meeting we had, does anybody have a different opinion on the uh, temporary marijuana ban than they had before? I've read through the comments and I listened to the audio and I, I haven't changed my opinion. Okay, does anybody else have anything else to say on it? I would like to say that the, uh, pardon me? Oh, uh, I would say that from reading it, I wasn't here, of course, but I did read the comments here. And it seems to me it's quite an admission. Quite a what? Quite an admission from uh, Brandon, Brandon Milton that uh, any way you cut it, whether it's legal, you have a legal retail store up in Chehalis and Chaya, or you have a legal wholesale down here, that the law is going to be broke either way. Well, he left something out when he made his presentation. And uh, I, I'm allowed to say that, aren't I? He sent us you a letter. Are, but we don't really need to go into any discussion just to say, did you change your mind or not? Yeah, okay. No, I haven't changed my mind at all. Okay. No, it didn't okay. change my 
I'm not supposed to have a butchering match, so that's all I can and say on that. So Justin, did he change your mind or not? No. And Andy? Okay. Yeah. Takes care of that. Thank you. Item number five, update in the wastewater treatment plant upgrade. The engineer, Chris Kelsey, is working on final ideas for how to go about it. Uh, there's work with the uh, either going through the judge's property here, which would take some condemnation process, or the other route they're talking about is through uh, Indian property, and they have to have a meeting with the Kelso Indians. And all that's up in the air. Nobody knows where it's going to go yet. Wow. And, uh, if they do come up with an idea, it's going to be another study that they have to figure it out. So it's going to be out further. <laughs> so that's the update. <laughs> that's it. That's not good if we have to. Well, sounds good. We're bringing in a whole <laughs> other organization. If that's we right. We have, it out another 10 years. If we have tribes we have to deal with. Right. It's, um... But it's just, uh, no matter which way they go about it, it doesn't. To go any one of the paths they're talking, it's, they're talking a distance, and it's a problem. Mm -hmm. So, they have to do another study, that's great. Let them do another study. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it on that one. Upgrade, update on the property purchase from the church. Uh, the two things that had to be done was a title search and the uh, uh, ecology test or the EPA test. And those are both in process, and they're supposed to be done in two weeks. That's what we're looking at. Possibly two weeks will be done. There's also an appraisal to be done. Yeah, the appraisal. That's the other one. But those are all basically within two weeks. So our next meeting. Any questions on that? Yes, sir. What? There's not a whole lot of people, but there's, excuse me, there's several people in town do not understand or want to, want to understand that this is grant fund money, not the city's money. That's right. They just jump all over me because I'm for the park purchase, what we're going through. I can't get to them point blank, and Steve knows probably one of them who I'm talking about. How can you publicize it? It isn't costing the city one penny. It's been, I think it's been publicized more than once. The railroad, Burlington Northern, has given us $13,000 to buy that piece of property and park equipment. That's it. The church is selling it for $7,000. The state rules are costing us another 4000 And the difference is going to be used for park equipment. Well, Nothing yeah, is coming you, out of the citizens. You get that right the park. There will be <laughs> money <laughs> left over to <laughs> park the equipment. <laughs> Because. Nothing is coming from the people in this city. It's, it's free. No, it is. It's free. <laughs> F-R-E-E. <laughs> free. I've gone through that same discussion, Andy, with people. And yeah. They don't register. Well, it's going to cost us money. Why is the city spending yeah. our money on a park? Yeah, I know. Oh, well, I only have, I only see four or five kids up there this summer in the daytime. What? And you're spending all this money, city money, for this? Come on. I see people, to refute that, I see people in that park all the time. They are using quite a few fathers with their kids, kids playing games out there, vandals destroying things. They're using the park all the time. Yeah, they're in the park. <laughs> okay, update on the ballot on the ballot measure to change the city name. I know this is controversial. But all the update says is that it's going to be on the ballot and it's going to be up to the citizens of this town to make the decision. That's I it. am. I know where you stand. You're against it. I am against it personally. Period. Period. That means it's the end. I'm just my opinion. But at last council meeting, I said, as a matter of public record, I want to know who is paying for this because this city's budget is not supposed to be used period for my legal experience there's an individual who has come to the city 
and I'm not allowed to say it publicly. I'll tell you privately who it is. But I, I, I know probably who it is, and uh, but it's and not. All, he's paying the bill, so it's not going to cost the city anything. Well, I want to see it ready to me. Period. I'm against it, and I will be against changing the name of the city of Vader to Little Falls. If he doesn't want his name publicized, then he has a problem with Andy Wilson Councilman. Period. Thank you. Okay. Any other periods on that? Okay. And I want to know if the city pays anything because there's liable to be a malfeasance of offers or uh, also a legal battle. I have been told, and I have no reason to disbelieve it, that the individual stepped forward and see he would cover any cost that the city faces on this. He would? He would pay any cost that is that the city would have to pay. He will take care of it. Well, I made my point. Okay. That's everything on our list, gentlemen. So that's it for tonight. Do yep. we have a report from the sheriff's office or? No, I guess we don't. <laughs> what do you want, Steve? No. <clears throat> One thing I had on my list and I didn't bring it up. Uh, now that we've acquired or acquiring the property next to the park, I've been given a power pole we could put for a light out there. And we could probably put it on the two property lines there, that way you can give for the park side and then also for the open field side. And it's just a matter of us. I mean, We've got power of, out there, don't we? Yeah. Would yeah. that be like a night light comes yeah, on? Yeah, we can put on a timer or whatever we want to do for that matter. On the on the corner of that of the street right there, the park parcel, there's there's already a power pole there. Yeah. Could we just have the county add well, a light I think to that? If we put it in the middle of the park and give light up the swing set area. And the other side for whatever future. On the, on the back side of the jail? Yeah. 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 I'll take care of that dark the corner in the back yeah. where all the, uh, they're hanging out back there. Yeah. 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 As soon as we get the property property purchase, we'll okay, move ahead with that. Go ahead with it. And make arrangements. I think Pat will ride from the puddle. Okay. They just crew to come out there and pick the pole up for us. What kind of pole is it? It's a power pole. Okay. It's probably 60 feet or something. I don't know. They're pretty big ones, 50 or 60. Just tell them to bring some light bulbs for street lights. <laughs> well, yeah, that was not the dead list. Okay, we're done. Meeting adjourned at 7.44, 6.44. Thank Thanks. you, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Listen to me. With my, uh, one of the one of the